updates we've made to the K2 Designer for SharePoint are not limited to the visual aspects. We've also done a ton of work around usability of the overall workflow authoring experience to ensure that it is easier and more intuitive for the people who use this design environment. Over and above that, we've added several new capabilities to the designer. The most obvious updates are the additional wizard categories we've added. You'll find Active Directory, Exchange, and CRM, which provide additional capabilities around those line of business systems. There are also a number of updates that have been made to support some of the new capabilities that are available in SharePoint 2010. To start off, we'll look at the general category, where we see the introduction of an action for creating document sets, so you can incorporate that functionality into your K2-based workflows. For all those employee onboarding and offboarding type scenarios, we've incorporated Active Directory integration directly from the K2 Designer for SharePoint. An extensive list of capabilities is available, including creating a new user account, adding an existing user to a group, creating new groups, and other key capabilities typically used in employee management scenarios. New actions for Exchange integration have also been added. So now, as part of your workflow, you can provision mailboxes in your Exchange environment or simply include workflow tasks like creating a meeting request or sending an Outlook task to a user. The final category we've added is around Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and this gives you the ability to interact with typical entities found in your CRM environment as part of your workflow design. And for those workflow designs that have many tasks and get to be rather large, we provide the Process Navigator that provides the ability to locate a specific section of the workflow you'd like to focus on so you can zoom in to just view those particular actions.